Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today's video is all about my first time getting Botox and filler. I really wanted to share my story and my experience. The places on my face that bothered me the most were the places that really emphasized my expressions. So my lines and my smile lines around my eyes as well as my folds or my smile lines here. Now I didn't want to look different. I didn't want to change my face in any way. I just wanted to soften those areas and revitalize them, rejuvenate them, look a little bit more youthful. And I am all about preventative maintenance. I am 32 years old for full transparency and I have never had any Botox or fillers before now. I did film the day of on my way there. I did film the procedures, so I did film me getting injected. The doctor that I went to is Dr. Michelle Siegel. He has been a plastic surgeon for 20 years and he specializes in the face. He specializes in facelifts and rhinoplasty and he administers his own injections, Botox filler, all of it. So I was going to somebody who really knows what they're doing and literally knows everything about the face, which I highly recommend. I highly recommend you do research on who you go to and I felt like since it was my face, my first time I really wanted to go to somebody who knew that they were doing that I could not go wrong with the plastic surgeon so we did do disport in my eyes and then I did um, get a picture of the filler that we used the filler is a hyaluronic acid based filler and it moves with the face it's very flexible and he says that in the video I am also doing daily updates for 24 and 48 hours after the procedure so once I get through that second update i'll come back in and give you guys a little play by play on what happened i got the filler and the botox a week and a half ago it took about five days for my botox to take effect and my filler literally looked different every single day um, for the first full week so let's go ahead and get started with the vlog portion of the video and then my daily updates hey guys today is the day of my very first Botox and filler experience. I am nervous to say the least, but I just got here. I'm in the parking garage. It's a really gloomy day, so the lighting is a little strange, but um, I'm about to go inside. I'm waiting for my mom to text me back. She actually works here. She is um, like the receptionist and she works with the doctor. Come on, there we go. So yeah, I'm super excited, but also kind of nervous. Okay, so I'm here and I've got my numbing cream on, so we are gonna do the Botox right here and filler here in my smile lines. And they don't have any other patients right now and my mom's actually going to film it. So she is gonna film the injection portion for me. So if you are squeamish, I will put a timestamp here for you to skip the <laughs> injection portion of the video. I already feel like super numb a little bit got on my lips so my, this half of my face feels a little tingly and numb the fillers should be pretty immediate but it'll take a few days for my botox to set in so yeah their facility is really nice it's on the fourth floor of a building there's really big windows right here so the lighting is perfect i'm getting numb for the next 20 minutes and i'm nervous but i'm excited and i'm super pumped that they don't have any other people here so that my mom can film for me so yeah i'm excited how was it um it, the needle wasn't bad but it stings a little when it goes in like a little mm -hmm. yeah okay so we're gonna do uh Filler now. And this is the uh, newest thing in the market. Well, it's the first flexible, pliable filler. So RH3. So it moves with your face. Okay. As compared to the previous fillers, which are rigid. Okay. So, hold that. Let 
let me show you what you look like. Compare the left to the right. Oh yeah. See that? Mm-hmm. Do you feel anything? No, I could feel it a little bit. It almost felt like it was filling up a little bit right. on the inside. So no yeah. pain. Mm -mm. No, I didn't feel any pain. Wow. Was that easy or what? Yeah, for sure. That's so crazy. Awesome. First time we do it, we do it, right? Give it about a week or so. If you feel we need more, we do another syringe. That way you're not overfilled. Okay. And so for the smile lines, you did a full syringe. And then yeah. how many units did you end up doing in the eyes? We did uh, 10 units per side. Oh, wow. Yeah. That wasn't much at all. No. Nice. All. Perfect. I know that a lot of people, that's a the reason why I wanted to ask is a lot of people have questions about units, like how many, but I know it's different for everyone. Yeah, so it's, uh, what a lot of patients don't understand is that uh, it's the actual Botox or whatever you're injecting is powder, so it has to be diluted or watered down. If you put too much water, it's going to last you two months. If it's concentrated, it should last you about four to six months. So that's, the concentration is important, and then placement. Um, patients that complain about having, you know, funny looking brows or it, do, it looks unnatural, it's not the actual product, it's the placement of the product. Thanks so much. You're welcome. Let me just clean yeah. it off and then... Hey guys, so I just basically sat down to just chill. The kids are finally in bed, but I wanted to give you guys a little update. So I got my filler at like 10.30 this morning. And it's nine o'clock now. Um, I feel like it looks really good. It's plumped it up a lot, but I still have a little bit of a line. So it still looks really natural. Um, as far as pain, I am a little bit sore and I can feel the knots. Like it feels like there's knots in there, which is normal. That should melt in, in, in the next two weeks. I'll probably be sore for a few days, especially since it's my first time. Um, but I feel like it looks like you can see the swelling right there. Um, but I'm really happy with it so far. Just like day, you know, the first day. Um, because it's still, I feel like it still looks really natural. Kevin was like, you don't even look different. And I was like, well, you're a guy and you can't tell, one. <laughs> and two, I don't want to look different. I just want to soften those lines and I think that they're really softened. Uh, Botox won't kick in for a few days, but I am going to like do like a one, two, three day check in to see, but I said full results for the Botox by day five, I should have them. So I'm really excited to see, um, how that works out. So I just wanted to do a little check in and I will do another check in tomorrow. Hey guys, so I wanted to come on and give a 24 hour update. It has been 24 hours since I got my Botox and my filler. So my Botox has not taken in effect yet and I literally feel nothing. There's no pain, there's no soreness, there's no little spots from the injection sites, nothing. My filler is full and it was pretty darn sore yesterday. Like not overly sore, but it felt like I got whacked in the face pretty much. But I have zero bruising. I'm gonna insert a picture of me with no makeup on from this morning so that you can see that I have no bruising or anything like that. It was a little bit red after I got the injections initially and I was numb for like three to four hours afterwards. Um, but no bruising, just a little bit of soreness. I am not 
sore today like I was yesterday, but I can definitely feel that something has happened. And I do have knots from where the filler was injected. So I may, I had to call and make sure that that was normal, but they said that's totally normal. And I am pretty happy with my results. I feel like my results look very natural. I still have um, a slight fold, which you're supposed to have. Everyone has a fold to some degree. And I was watching a video when I was doing research that you should look back at pictures of yourself, um, you know, throughout your life. And I have always had a bit of a fold. So I'm really happy with how conservative my filler has been so far. Um, my folds are still there and you can still see them when I smile, but they're a lot more plumped and they're not as deep as they were. I do have a little bit of swelling still, um, especially from the knots, like it's a little bit raised. So um, I'm curious to see like when my healing process is completely done, what it's gonna feel like and what it's gonna look like, but I am really happy with it and I'm really excited to see this weekend once my Botox takes effect. Now I know for future, um, I don't have to worry about, <clears throat> you know, looking weird after something like this because there was no bruising for me. Now, um, it is important to not, they told me not to take any Advil one to two weeks before your procedure because if you do take an ibuprofen or a blood thinner like that, you do have a tendency to bruise more than somebody who hasn't. So that's pretty much the extent of the prep, so to say. Um, but yeah, I've had no bruising, no redness, a little bit of swelling where I got my filler, nothing to indicate that I've had the Botox done. I will check back in tomorrow to let you guys know how my progress is doing and what I'm looking like. It's day two, so I want to give an update on the healing process so far. Um, I still have my knots. I can feel it a little bit more today. The corner of my lip right here it feels a little tingly and like almost a little bit numb that's not gonna be a permanent effect i did want to mention something that i didn't mention yesterday i am the type of person that if i have a question like i ask a million questions because i want to know and if i don't ask questions about something that's worrying me or something that i'm concerned about i'll fester over it so this lip yesterday sagged a little bit it was just a little bit lower when i smiled only um so but that's just because it was a still a little bit swollen so it was just pressing on my lip just a little bit it looks better today but i don't think anybody else really would be able to tell it's just a very minor thing that i notice but my folds still look really good my botox is slowly starting to take effect i have less lines here today so yeah, that's the update for day two. I know everyone's healing process and side effects may be a little bit different and I'm sure, you know, depending on what filler you get, where you get it, placement, that sort of thing, it's gonna be different for everybody. So I'm just literally laying it all out on the table, any weird concerns that I have, any weird things that I notice, but I feel like it looks really good. It looks even, um, I still feel like I look pretty natural, so, yeah, that is my update for today. So it's been a week and a half since I received my Botox and my filler and I wanted to give you guys a final update sans makeup and share with you what it is looking like. I am very happy with the way that it looks. I feel like the one syringe, half on this side, half on this side, looks very natural. So at a resting face, my my lines are more plump, my folds are not as deep, and that is exactly what I wanted. So I'm very, very happy with the results. Moving on to the Botox, I am so thrilled with how the Botox turned out. I can still move my eyes, I still show expression in my eyes, and it's very smooth and a big, big difference and a better improvement than what it was before. I also can still feel the filler, but it's a lot more smoothed out and it's not as swollen as, as it was before. So um, yeah, I can still feel it in there but it doesn't bother me at all and I don't feel it when my face moves or I talk or I laugh or anything like that. I'm really 
glad I did not film my updates for days three, four, and five because at that point, I was semi-regretting my decision to get filler. Since it was my first time, you know, I didn't really know what to expect. I kept calling my mom over and over again, asking her a million questions. I don't think anybody else would have noticed it, but I know this little thing, so it would look a little bit different. One fold would look deeper than the other fold. It was, it kind of was a little bit scary there for a minute for me, but after I would say about the full week, the full seven days, it really started to settle and it has settled and I'm even on both sides. My smile's back to normal and I really don't look any different. When I show expression, when I smile, when I talk, you probably can't really even tell that I had anything done. It was just that they were getting a little bit more emphasized and deeper as I've gotten older and that is what I wanted to fix. <laughs> <laughs> basically. So yeah, I'm really, really happy with the results and it's preventative. It's going to prevent me from getting deeper set wrinkles there. I cannot tell you how thrilled I am about the Botox. This didn't bother me as much as my eyes did. So my smile lines here were to me getting so bad and anytime I would take a picture and depending on the lighting, I would see those lines and I would instantly feel uncomfortable. I'm a very confident person. I'm very happy with my appearance, but there are things that I want to make better and if it bothers me bad enough, I'm gonna get it fixed. And I am so happy with the Botox. Like I will not be able to go without that. <laughs> So I'm curious to see how long that they last. He says to expect it to last four to six months. I feel like I'm gonna be on the lower end of that spectrum just because I am very expressive. I move my face a lot, I smile a lot, and I am a very active person and I feel like maybe my body, since I am constantly burning calories, I probably will metabolize it faster. I don't know for certain, but that's just, you know, what I'm expecting. I'm expecting it to last probably about four months. So um, if you want updates in the future, I'm most likely going to give them because this is a topic that interests me and I feel like it might interest a lot of you as well. So um, I'm very happy with the results. Thank you so much to Dr. Siegel. He was very nice. He was so gentle and careful with me. I was amazed that I did not bruise because almost every video that I've watched people have experienced bruising and I did not. So again, I am going to have all of Dr. Siegel's information linked and listed down below for you. If you want more information or you want to give him a call to schedule, I am not being sponsored by him. He's not paying me to do this. I just want to be very transparent. I know a lot of my followers actually live in the Houston area. So if you are looking for somebody or you're nervous about getting it done, you can schedule a free consultation with him. So thanks again, Dr. Siegel, if you're watching. Um, thank you guys for watching. I hope this video was informative and helpful. If you haven't subscribed already, please do. I will have my Instagram look linked and listed down below for you if you wanna follow me on there. It is a lot more casual over there. I like to have fun. I post a lot of me and my kids, my daily life and things like that. So thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys again very soon.